Good morning, fourth graders. You're almost there. We have two weeks of lessons and then we have catch up week and then we're all done for the year. All right, so I'm gonna take time right now to go over this week's lesson. And this is just review. So it should be not new for you. And this is really, um, we went over this by the middle, maybe in February or so. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so of course, I'm gonna give you the link to the website. And so you'll go straight to this website. Scroll down, you are now in week seven, okay? So the topic is area and perimeter with whole numbers. Now you remember area equals length times width and perimeter, rim is the outside, right? You're gonna only add up the outside. Two times length plus two times width, okay? So step one, this is the very most important step that you have to do or you're not gonna understand the lesson, okay? You're going to watch this video, the one that's on right now, to hear this, this lesson. And then you're gonna do your extra math. Now, a lot of you are still not doing it. I need you to do it or I have to fail you. This takes five minutes, okay? It's really easy. And then you're gonna watch this video. And again, some of you are not doing this step. This video is three minutes long and it's really, really, really important because it goes over um, just a more of a breakdown of what the lesson is that we've already discussed in class and everywhere. Okay, so it's very important to follow these steps. That's why we have them here. Okay. Um, and then you're going to go to click here to go to Google Classroom. Okay. Again, this is going to be just like last week, except this week your topic is area and perimeter. Like the same way you went right here to go to your Google Classroom is where you're going to go to go to your Google Classroom. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my... Uh, a student's perspective, okay, so that you know what to do. Now, it will automatically direct you to your Google Classroom, but um, normally it would do that, so as long as you're signed in. So you'll find your homeroom. Again, I'm using Emma's. There's your new assignment area slash perimeter. All you have to do is click it. Again, put your first name and last name, you have to turn it in. If you don't turn it in, I'm going to give you an F. This is a turn in button, okay? Once you click this, another window is going to open up, and you're going to work through those problems, and then you're going to exit that, and then you're going to turn it in. If you don't do this final step, I don't get it, your work, and then you get a failing grade. Yes, you will have time to make them up at the end of the of the year, but you don't want to have to go back and have to make up six um, assignments in math because you couldn't, you didn't click a simple button like turn in. Okay, it's very important these steps that I'm telling you because they will help you. Okay, so you click right here or it says your name. Most important part is your name right there. I mean, I know this seems like a really pointless step, but guys, name is very important, right? And then Miss Lee will give you your formulas, okay? And then you, you're gonna practice area equals, oh, look at this, link times width. So then I go six times four is 24. I just click in the box. I just put 24. Now, notice that the box that I'm working on, it has a square around it or a rectangle around it. When you are finished, all you have to do, if it helps you, is click the tab button. I'm sorry, is click the um, the next box. There you go. I didn't do anything else. I didn't move an arrow. I didn't do anything else. I just clicked the box. So I know length times what this 10 times 7 is. And then look, I go over here. I click the box. And then I can type. Okay. Click the box. And then I can type. Click the box and then I can type, okay? When I'm done there, I go over here. There's some more practice. Five times three is 15. And once again, that's it. Complete all of them. Perimeter, remember this is the rim. Now, if it helps you, visualize that this is your square that you're talking about. So that means this side's 15, 
this side's 15 and these two are eight. So then you just have to add them up. Look at that perimeter equals two times length plus two times width. Or you add up all the sides, whichever one's easier for you. So you do 15 plus 15 is 30 plus eight and eight, which is 16. So then it's uh, 48. So then you find 48 here. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna click it, make sure my squares are, and then I'm just gonna move it over here. I'm just using my arrows to move it where it belongs. That's it. And when, whenever I need to go somewhere else, I just click to the side. Now, I go to the next one. 12 times, well, it's not area, so it's perimeter, so it's still perimeter. Same thing, four sides, right? There's two sides are the same and two sides are the same. So four plus four is eight. 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 plus eight is, okay, 32, you click there and just make sure that the whole box is on and then you move them where you need to put them. Go to the next one, I can tab it. Oh, there's my, then I just have to move it. Tab it, go to the next one. It's really easy, okay? Then we'll go to the next slide. Freddy Frog lives in a square pond. It is four feet by four feet. What is the area of the pond? Now you know for a square it's different because a square, all the sides are different. Okay, so look at the area of a square equals four times the sides. So we come over here. It says it's four feet by four feet, which means that the area is length times width, which is 16, and then you just type in 16. That's it, okay, then you solve, answer the rest. And then you go to this one. If the answer is correct, then color the heart green. If it's not, then color it red, okay? Area equals length times width. So they're saying the area of this one is 20 feet by four feet. Again, if you have to draw your picture. When I mean draw your picture, I mean draw your rectangle, draw your square, whatever, whichever need you need to do. Well, you know the area equals length times width. So you know 20 times four is 80. So that is correct. So I'm gonna click the heart. I'm gonna go to the paint bucket right above it. And I'm gonna fill it in green. It doesn't matter what color you do, just as long as you do a green, okay? Then I tab it and go to the next one. Tab it, go to the next one. Then just go back and forth so I solve all of the problems. Okay? And then when I'm done with that, remember to turn in or I have to give you a failing grade. This is really easy peasy stuff, okay? So then I exit this and I click turn in. Turn in. I'm not going to turn in yet because she's not done. But. Okay? So you have to do. And I go back to my website because that wasn't the last step. I'll fix that number right there. Okay, you're on step four. Now you go to step five. I know it says six, but I'm gonna fix that. Now you need to go to IXL and do BB4 and BB10. If you've already completed them, like we did them in class, then guess what, you're done. You don't have to, then you just go straight to Imagine Math. Now this week, I'm just challenging you to do two lessons. Now this is just gonna give you practice, okay? It's just practice for you to do, get more practice with your area and your perimeter. So don't freak out if you don't get this done by the end of the week. This is just gonna help you fill those gaps. And so when you get to fifth grade, it's not, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? And again, I have this sign in sheet right here if you want to sign up for a day. It's gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and put Tuesdays up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put Friday, uh, Thursdays up there. It says, do not change anything on this Google Doc. Only type your name and type if you want to Zoom or a phone call. That means you don't touch anything else. I had somebody just come and delete everything, so then I had to come and fix it, okay, guys? It's very important. All you have to do is click there, your name, if you want to Zoom, and then that's it. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to change the font. We don't need pretty font. We don't need to add a date over here. We don't need the, the only person that changes the date over here is Miss Lee. If you want to talk to me on a Friday or you just can't do Tuesdays or Thursdays, then you can text me, you can email me, you can dojo me, and I will make it work. Do not change anything on here, okay? Only add your name in your Zoom or your phone call. And then after that, you are done. If you have not caught up with the other assignments, there's week six, week five, it's all in order, okay? Whatever you need, all right? Now, if you have any major concerns 
or just don't don't understand it at all. Just holler at me, all right? All right, guys. Good luck. Bye.